Hello, uh, my name's Dr Gill. Um, before we start, could I please confirm your name and date of birth? Yep, it's Bethany Gill. My date of birth is 10th of August 1998. Super, thank you. So, how can I help today? Um, I'm pregnant and I've got a headache. Okay, could you tell me more? Um, I used to get headaches prior to pregnancy, um, but this one's been coming and going over the last couple of days and I read online that it was something to be worried about, so I wanted to get it checked over. Okay, so you've had headaches before. Apart from the timing, how is this different to your other headaches? Um, well, normally I'd take ibuprofen to help with my headaches, but I can't take that in, in pregnancy, so I'm just a little bit more uncomfortable than usual, to be honest. So you said obviously you can't use ibuprofen because you're pregnant. Have you actually tried anything to, uh, to help with the headache? Yeah, I've taken some paracetamol, but it's not a really huge amount of difference, to be honest. Okay. So how does this headache compare to your previous headaches? Um, pretty similar. So it tends to come on, um, sort of come on over a couple of hours. Um, and it, so it feels like it's a squeezing pain around the front of my head. Okay. So we know whereabouts it is, and you've described it as a squeeze. Um, could you rate that pain out of 10, with one being next to nothing and 10 the worst you can imagine? I think about a six. Okay. And it's been there for the last two, three days, you said. Mm. What's the timing of the headache during the day? It seems to come and go. Um, there's no particular time of day. Um, maybe slightly worse in the morning if I've, if I've been asleep all night. Okay. And when you do get it, how long is it there for? Oh, it can last a good couple of hours at a time. Okay. And have you noticed anything that aggravates makes the headache worse? Um, if I've been sitting in front of a screen for a long time, that seems to make it a little bit worse. Okay. And maybe if I've not had enough to drink. Let's flip it around. So you've said you've taken paracetamol for the headache. Is there anything else that helps it? Um, well, what if, I, if I'm able to fall asleep, that seems to make it a little bit better. Okay. Um, being away from the screen seems to make it a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And have you noticed any other symptoms apart from the headache? Well, like, what do you mean? Um, so, for example, you said the screen. Have you noticed any change in your vision? Um, no, not particularly. Okay. And in terms of the headache, have you noticed it moving anywhere? No, it seems to stick pretty much just around there. Okay. How's your appetite at the moment? Oh, normal for a pregnant woman. Okay. And early on in the pregnancy, did you get any nausea at all? I did. Okay. And how long did that last? Um, that started at about nine weeks and cleared off by about 20. Okay. Have you had any subsequent nausea with this headache? No. Good, good. So how are your energy levels at the moment? Um, I'm not sleeping very well with the headaches, so I am tired, but I'm getting on all right. Okay. Now, a very important question. So you're not sleeping well with the headaches. Do the headaches wake you from sleep? Oh, no. Good, okay. And when you then now to put on your shoes, what happens to the headache then? It gets a little bit worse. Okay. And what about if you go to open your bowels? Uh, maybe a little bit worse, but only for a second or two. So you've said that the headache is worse when you were looking at a screen. Um, have you noticed any changes to your vision? No. And in terms of your eyes, obviously I can see you've got glasses on. Has there been any change in your uh, change with your glasses? No. Okay. And when did you last get your prescription checked? I had my prescription checked three or four months ago, they said everything was the same. Super, okay. And um, with regard to the vision, have you noticed any flashing lights at all? No. Okay, and uh, do you have any, pro you know, it's obviously I'm thinking about the screen as much as anything, but any problems with bright lights and things, they're uncomfortable to your vision? No. Super, okay. That's, uh, you know, a very important thing. So I'm gonna go to uh, a couple more of the red flags now. Have you noticed any temperatures at all? No. Okay, any rashes? No. Okay, um, and how's your neck feel? Fine. Good, so no neck stiffness at all? Or no. pain? And how do you feel in yourself? Just a bit fed up with headaches, really. Okay. Um, has anyone in your family had issues with headaches previously? Uh, I mean, we'll get headaches from time to time, but no one's ever been told it was anything sinister. So no significant ones. Okay, that's good. Um, obviously, as we're pregnant, you know, uh, the body can change. Have you noticed any swellings there uh, that might be unusual? Uh, no, there's been no change to my hands and you change my feet. Good, okay. And so, um, and, uh, with regard to fluid, how are your water works? Fine. Good, so not notice any change in the nature of your urine? Um, as I've gotten more heavily pregnant, I go more frequently, but no change in the last couple of weeks, no. 
Okay, a really strange question. Have you noticed any frothing to your urine? No. Good, okay, that's really reassuring, thank you. Um, obviously, you've said you get a little bit of reflux, but no nausea. Any tummy pain, any abdominal pain at all? No. Good, okay. So, I understand that you're obviously you were uh, concerned with regard to, uh, you know, the headache. What was it worrying you about it? Um, well, I'd read online about something called preeclampsia, and I just really wanted to make sure it wasn't that. Okay. Uh, has anyone in your family had preeclampsia with a previous pregnancy? No. Okay, so that in itself is reassuring. You're having your blood pressure checked regularly with the midwife? Yes. Okay. Jolly good. We'll check that in a moment for you. So, with regard to the uh, pregnancy, something I didn't ask earlier on, how far along are you in the pregnancy? I'm 39 weeks and three days. Okay, so possibly coming you know, rapidly towards the end of the pregnancy. Hope so. So, hopefully we can um, reassure you there's nothing untoward going on with the headache. Going back to uh, the midwife, has the midwife been happy with the growth so far of the baby? So far. Fantastic, that's, that's really important then. So, obviously I know we're having a good conversation at the moment, but, and it might sound a strange question, but have you noticed you having any problems thinking, maybe getting confused at all? I don't think so. Good, that's really reassuring. Certainly the nothing that you've said to me, um, you know, indicates this is a worrying headache, medically speaking. No, obviously it's causing you pain. Just going to dot the I's and cross the T's on a few other bits. Do you have any other medical problems? Um, I have anxiety, so I take some citalopram, but that's really well controlled. Okay, so you take citalopram. Do you take any other medications? Not regularly, no. So you take citalopram. Uh, do you take any other prescription medications? No. Okay. And do you take any over-the-counter medications? You mentioned the paracetamol. Occasionally some paracetamol. Um, I've been taking an iron supplement um, and some vitamin D. Okay. And any allergies at all? No. Okay, and specifically no allergies to any medications? No. And what is it you do for work? I'm on maternity leave at the moment. Okay. Um, and what were you doing before you were on maternity leave? I was working in an office. Okay. Um, and do you smoke at all? No. And do you have any alcohol? No. Superb. Okay. Um, so, as I say, it doesn't sound concerning at all, but we need to do some tests now to check that. So what we'll do, if you don't mind, we're going to do blood pressure, we'll get, get you up on the couch, we'll have a look in your eyes, we'll get you to provide a sample of urine, and whilst obviously frothing the urine is something that we see with a lot of protein, we're still going to dip the urine to see if there's any protein in it, and we'll do some neurological tests to make sure everything looks fine. Is that okay for you? Sounds fine. Super. So, unfortunately, um, my um, uh, spigmometer has broken at the moment, so we're going to use the electronic one, if you don't mind. So, do you have a problem with either of your arms? No. Super. So, if we can go on your, uh, your right one, if that's okay. So, control the up for me. I'm just going to check the size. That's fine. Push that up. And then back again. And if you just want to lean backwards for me, and just sit with your legs flat on the, feet flat on the floor. We'll see what that number comes out at. I always find using the electronics fig to be somewhat challenged because I can talk to you, but unfortunately patients can't talk to us whilst they're doing it. So. Okay, 122 over 70, so that's fantastic where we are in the pregnancy. Okay, if we can get you to uh, sit up on the bed for me, and we're going to have a look at your eyes to start off with. Okay, so we're just going to check uh, the back of your eyes to see if we can see any evidence of swelling there. If we kind of take your glasses off, please. I'm just going to do the same. I'm going to take the fundoscope. And just zoom in for a second. Brilliant. So I'm going to put my hand on uh, your forehead. I'm just going to come in from the side. Okay, look to the left for me. And the right. Okay, look up please. And 
bring that down and just look directly into the light super thank you okay i'm going to do the same again on the opposite side so i've got a slight problem with this eye so i just got to keep on that side okay look up for me and then down okay look to the left and the right And straight into the light. Super. So there's no obvious issues there, which is very good. So, would you like to put your glasses back on? Just go loose and floppy for me. I'm just going to move your arms. Okay. Same again on the side. That's fine. And we're just going to move the feet. And super. So if you put your arms out like so, and then push me away, and pull back. Okay, and take my fingers please. Try and break them, really squeeze them, really go for it. That's fantastic. Okay, and if you keep your legs where they are, don't let me move them. So don't let me move your leg. Okay, don't let me move your leg. Don't let me move your leg. And don't let me move your leg. Okay, don't let me move your feet. Okay, don't let me move your feet. Super, that's fine. So we're just going to have a quick look at uh, your reflexes now. So I'm just going to tap your arms, so just relax for me. Super. Nice contraction. And again over here. Super. Just going to tap. And again. Good. So got nice contractions. We need the same again on your legs. One, two, three. <laughs> okay, very brisk. And again. Super. I'm just going to check the back of the feet, so just try and relax for me. Super. Again, excellent. All of that is normal. So this is a near tip, so you're just going to feel a slight touch. I'm going to put it on your chest to start off with, so it'll feel like so. Um, if you put your hands on your palms, close your eyes for me. Say yes when we feel we touch you. Yes. 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 And if you turn your hands over, please. Yes. Yes. Super, thank you. Well, we won't get to take your socks off, uh, so that should be fine. So we haven't found uh, any problems uh, with your examination, but we, we do need to go get a sample of urine if you could. So if you go have a chat with the ladies at the desk, they'll be able to give you the bottle. And if we bring that in, we can recheck that for you. Okay. So, thank you very much. So I will just go dip that and I'll be back in a moment. So that urine showed there were no abnormalities there, and importantly for the pregnancy, there were no issues with uh, protein. So from my perspective, I think this looks like a simple tension headache. Just because it's tension doesn't in any way mean that it's not uncomfortable. So I'd recommend taking regular paracetamol. You can do two tablets four times a day, which I'm sure you're doing so we can continue with that anyway. Often the tension headaches due to muscle tightnesses in the back of the neck and things. So we could look at getting you to see one of our physios, and maybe getting some direct manipulation there. And we can certainly offer you some um, stretches as well that might help that. Was there anything else you're hoping we'd do today? No. Superb. Do you have any other questions for myself? No. Well, thank you very much for coming in today.